Hi everybody, I am Gila from Gila K Art Studio and today is a special day. It is March 5th, which means it is shop update and the release of the Lost and Found collection, which I am really excited about. It is a collection I've been working on for a long time. It has changed and shifted and grown and then grown and grown and then I just had to say stop because we are launching tomorrow. So. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I thought I was going to share all the parts of this collection. First of all, we of course have the colours. Uh, when you buy a set, it will come looking like this. Um, the collection has six handmade watercolours. Uh, one has sparkly pigments, all the others have are made with traditional pigments. So we have like that really old rich feeling, almost a little bit dirty colors. Now this collection is inspired, as you might imagine, lost and found by the old, the vintage. Uh, my thinking has been all of these old stuff that you can find, stuff that you find in somebody's pockets, old photographs, all of that. Uh, taking that and creating new stories. So I want it to be a collection where not just based on the colour scheme but based on, on the stories and starting off. And I really wanted this uh, collection to be not just for painters but for people who, who scrapbook, who make cards, who, who write and who do mixed media and, and all sorts. And I want this to be something fun to really spark that creativity no matter what what you do and I really feel like starting with this you can create stuff that just goes above and beyond so we have the handmade watercolors that is typically what I have done I'm really happy with the colors and then from that we have a few other things so I mentioned that a lot of this uh, thinking about the lost and found especially stuff you know and so I have made one sticker sheet here here you can see just a collection of really odd selection of items and I was thinking what kind of items would you find on somebody's desk or in a bag in a pocket and grouping these together I mean they're, they I think they look pretty nice on their own but my thinking was if I group three of these together what kind of person would that be if I found three of these items in somebody's pocket or somebody's desk, what does that say about that person? So we have that. Also in the same format, we have these that are just labels for you to add to anything and everything, to add some notes, write about something. I just thought it would be nice to have a few different in a few different sizes to add to your sketchbook or cards or, or whatever you do with planners uh, to add some notes about having that sort of vintage old looking style. Also with stickers I have two different vinyl stickers. I have this little watch and it is clear so the watch face is a white because I just really like the watch. <laughs> Then we made together this sheet and it started out being about luck or good luck symbols um, but I thought it would fit really well into this collection. So we have some liquid luck, we have a ladybug, we have a rune for luck, horseshoe obviously, a four leaf clover, a penny uh, and a key and then lyketil which is Swedish for good luck. A sort of big thing that I've been working on for this collection are these three packs and you say okay but what is that in these three packs there are three different themes they are vintage photos that I have bought uh, edited them retouched them and now you can get them and that's sort of the heart of, of this sort of story starters or story sparks um, thinking that you can mix and match them with these stickers. I mean, if you take an image of somebody here and give them a few items, what does that say? Um, creating stories. Also in the pack here, you can see I have a whole bag of them there. There is my thoughts on it, but also a long, long list of prompts. Think of this as starting for writing, starting for 
painting, starting for anything. I feel like this is a really good, um, if you like, I am a very visual person. I love old photos. So for me, I can get a million ideas from just the photos. Uh, but sometimes mixing and matching uh, the, the photos with the, with the items and then maybe some ideas could really help spark stories when you feel stuck. So we have, uh, imagine that you have um, a photo of uh, a person, then maybe you can write about who is this or painting who is this. Why was this photo taken? It could apply to anything. What are their favorite clothes? Do they have uh, kids, parents, sibling? How does their home look like inside and out? And I've really tried to make it very, very, very broad to making you feel like you can stand here and then jump off. And I feel like the obvious thing is, yeah, you can take this photo, redraw them, uh, make them in color, change them, put the character in different settings. But I also feel like if you feel like oh, I have no idea, then these are like a little sheet sheet for different ideas. And I am so, so happy. And so far, the little time I have had to paint, uh, I have really enjoyed them. And I'm really happy with the results I've been given. And I don't think I would have come up with it if I hadn't done this. So yeah, so we have three different ones. We have the country life that has more of a animal living out in the country sort of feel. So much more animals in, in the country life. The fancy one has uh, a nice little castle here, but we also have a few more dressed up more like beauty beauty shots like you know, sitting still posing a little bit more you know dressed up and being fancy so if you like fashion or old-fashioned and, and that kind of drawing clothes i would highly recommend the uh the fancy one and then we have vacation so a lot more scenery and especially like beach beach photos and i feel like i can't go to the beach if anybody nobody can go to the beach so I feel like I um, I get my sort of uh, like a kick out of that by looking through the photos here and I have not been to the ocean in like two years now and I really miss it and looking through these photos I'm like okay I get my little a little sea thing from that so that is the, uh, those they come in these glassine envelopes like I said with the photos and then the card uh, with all of the ideas and then also with photo corners you can see up there and I haven't packed photo corners in these because I feel like you you get to choose so we have black white craft silver and gold so just pick whatever color you feel like suits you so yeah so I feel like that is like the the heart of the collection the uh, lost and found uh, losing like all of these photos have been lost nobody wanted them they're lost you know and now we have found them and we can create their stories tell their stories again find new ones and that is this so the last few things that I have are I have a new washi tape which I'm really excited about designs around it and different and I want to make them fairly small so you can just uh, use a lot of different textures so I really like this one. Then also we have a set of dip pens. So you get two handles, six nibs, and also an eraser. And I've just packaged them up in these little bags. And of course you can use ink, but I have to say my favorite thing to use with them is masking fluid. So you can get really, really thin lines with the masking fluid. You can also charge them with watercolor. So you can, uh, my favorite has actually been to use Agnes, that really granulating with that big chunk gold looks so pretty using the dip pen writing or scribbling. So highly recommend giving that a try. And then the pretty, the pretty stuff. We have a palette. Um, it has 12 different colors of mica flakes. I, if you have followed me here, you know that I have been using mica flakes quite a lot making artwork. And I just love that. So when I found this little gem, um, I just felt like it would be perfect for the Lost and Found to add in a little bit more bling because the colors in order themselves don't, uh, ex except for Agnes, doesn't have that usual sparkle that I usually have in my paint. So I felt like this would be perfect and I'm really happy with it. Also, if you 
enjoy creating stuff in resin or stuff this is perfect for that um i also know like nail art i mean you can use this for so many things it is the lost and found uh, i also have a new postcard speaking of nothing um in the shop and yeah um, I'm just I just had to show it because I'm so happy with it but yeah that is the lost and found collection of March 2021 I am so happy with this collection I feel like I have put my heart and soul into it so so happy I am so proud of this collection also uh, I have to remember I have old tins here that will be available they are filled with white half pans that have magnets on them uh, I have heard you that you want uh, more palettes being available. I haven't been able to get hold of that yet, but I have these old ones. I hope you will like them. Uh, the smallest one have six half pans and the biggest one I think have 47 half pans in it. So there's a big variety. They are old, they are dirty, they are scuffed up and bumped and they ha they are just looking so so pretty and I, I am really happy with this collection. I think you can tell hopefully. <laughs> I am very proud. I feel like it is the start of something and I can't wait to see what you create with them especially mixing in the photos and uh, the object. I mean, it doesn't have to be this sticker sheet. Uh, I feel like you can just like imagine taking a few items. Uh, I just feel like this will be like a starting point if you can't come up with them right away. Um, so yeah, I think that could be really, really fun to, to see the different and especially if um, seeing how different the different photos will be interpreted and the characters that will evolve and yeah i am just so excited to see what you create and i can't wait to continue create with this i feel like i have barely scratched the surface and i have created it so yeah um so i hope you will enjoy it all of this is available right now link down below uh, in my etsy shop and um yeah i i hope you will like it i thank you so much for watching and um yeah, let me know what you think.